Hey guys, it's me Rahul and this is the beginning of a new series. It's called must have Android apps. In this series, I will feature only the best of best apps. I'm not going to stick to my own opinion. I will also ask my friends and you guys can help me too. So if you guys think an app is awesome, then definitely let me know in the comments down below. So let's do this. The first must have app is called ES File Explorer. I literally cannot describe all the things that this small application can do. It will take hours. It is an awesome app. It is the first application that I would install when I get a new device or after changing raw. The primary function of this application is of course helping you to explore files. But it can do a lot of other things like you can share files with this application, you can backup apps, you can browse root directory if your device is rooted, you can view images with the ES image viewer that is built into it, you can listen to music, it acts as a download manager and even you can browse the internet with this file manager. That is like having all the power of power amp, image viewer, download manager, chrome, root explorer, app backup and restore and X center in just one little tiny application. It's great guys. Also one of the other cool things that you can do with this application is if your friend hides some media files or documents using hiding apps then with ES file explorer you can view that file even if it is broken to pieces or renamed to a different format. That's pretty cool. Fun fact, I uninstalled the stock file manager right after I root my device and I installed ES file explorer because it is that great. Next one is called MoboClean. Because of a special feature, it was removed from Play Store. But you can download APK from their website. It is a new application. Actually, I have reviewed the same app, but it was in an another name. It was called UApp Purifier and now it is called MoboClean. But none of the features or user interface or anything really changed. With this application, you can modify whether an application starts on startup or not, and you can do a lot of other things like that. You may ask, is this app need root access? The short answer is no. This app is specially made for non-rooted users who wants to do these type of things. You can also change the app permissions without root, that's great. How it works is, you need to reinstall the app using mobile clean. Then you can do all these things, changes permissions, mock locations and all that stuff. It's pretty great. Third one on my list is a web browser, it is UC browser. I personally use two browsers, one for casual browsing and other one for downloading things. I think Chrome is the best for casual browsing and reading news etc because the interface is pretty neat. But I would give the best Android web browser crown to UC browser because it is fast, it has tons of features, that's why I choose UC browser as a must have. It is not the prettiest one but I think it is the special one. You can apply themes, there is support for add-ons and it has built-in download manager. It will be very helpful if you are downloading a larger file on a slow network and a lot of other features are in this app. It is pretty great. Next one, MX Player. It is a VLC for Android, literally. It can play any video file or audio file. It has clean and simple UI packed with a lot of features. You can zoom into a video, you can view subtitles. It is my favorite media player and I think most people agree too. I literally have nothing more to say. There are a lot of features and it is great. Next one is Google Keep. It is my favorite app, not because it is made by Google. It is clean and got awesome material design and everything is just smooth. And it delivers what it says. You can quickly take a note and you can make a list. And if you need some fancy look, you can change the color and you can also add a picture to the note. I use this app every time I write video ideas on it. I make games and apps using it. It is perfect for all that. It is cloud synced. So I can access Google Keep from any of my device, even on my PC and my Android smartwatch. Next one is Microsoft Word. If you are a type of person who writes down notes in their phone, then I highly recommend Microsoft Word. Because it got all the features that you need. You can start with a template which is pretty cool. You can change text style. You can insert images, text boxes, tables and shapes and you can change layouts and a lot more other things. Most of the features that you will find in fully fledged PC version are in this app. It is a great powerful app and it works great. Next must have app is a photo editor. We all take photos with our phones right? So it is great to have a simple and powerful photo editing app. So I choose Pixar. This app features a lot of filters and effects and a lot of other cool stuff like clip art, stickers, borders and that basic adjustments. It is somewhat fully fledged photo editing app. 
it is definitely better than a lot of apps you can also overlay other photos also one of the other cool things is you can apply effects or filters to a certain area that you choose next one is a reader it is called pocket book it has so many useful features and it also supports epub files besides pdf and the cool thing is the page peel effect it is so smooth and awesome if you feel like that is too much you got an option to disable it or set to a different animation all the basic pdf reader features are there like bookmark night mode reflow brightness adjustment read out loud marking and highlighting and all that good stuff i was using adobe reader before but after using this app i was actually impressed by it next one is a cloud backup app i really had a hard time choosing the best one but here is my choice it is media fire i use almost all cloud backup app out there dropbox media fire google photos onedrive google drive and mega i am being serious i use all these apps Most used ones are Google Photos and OneDrive. I use them for backing photos and videos, but I use Media Fair and Dropbox to back up documents and other files, and of course Google Drive for some critical file backups. The reason why I choose Media Fair is because it is easy, it is multi-platform compatible, and it is the fastest cloud backup that I have ever used. You can get more than 50 GB for free. It supports resumable downloads, which a lot of cloud backup apps lacks. Last but not least, Pocket. Most people underrate Pocket. They say it is useless, but once you get a hang of it, you will use it every day. Trust me, it is not a bookmark app like somebody says. For those who don't know what the use of Pocket, it is basically a bookmark app, but not like the one that you find on your web browser. It saves the whole web content for you to read offline. You can take images, text, and videos offline. It is pretty easy to do. Open a web page that you want to read offline in your web browser of choice, then share that web page to Pocket and wait sometimes for download. And after that, open Pocket app and then you can view that web page offline. You may like, hold on. So it is like turning on the offline mode in Google Chrome, right? Well, sort of yes, but you will get a lot of features on Pocket and it is very helpful. I highly recommend this if you love reading articles online. It is a great tool and it is multi-platform compatible. So that's it. I will work on this series twice a year because I want to give you guys the best of best app. So I need time to work on it, but don't worry, all the other videos will be up in time. And thank you guys so much for the support. It really means a lot to me and thank you a lot. If you are new to my channel, you are welcome and join the family by clicking on that subscribe button. And I will see you guys again in my next video. Goodbye.